rhymes in his rhymes cause his memories We running through New York so you never leave Strap my lungs then we puff until we're that right We're giving them some stories they come back like Manic this, manic that, why you crawling to me? The hell we gonna- Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're just gonna be changing over the brake pad wear sensors on my car. The reason I'm doing this is because when my car went into dealer for the recalls, they end up bringing up on a vehicle health check that all the brake pad wear sensors have been cut. Now, they know me, I don't like that kind of stuff. If they tell me something's wrong, I'm gonna go and repair it. Like they said, this is the cleanest E60 they've ever seen. They were surprised how the condition was and how every there was no dash, no errors in the car, no engine lights. As you know, they check, they can check, they can put your cassette in a little reader and it brings up any fault codes, anything that come up was one of the PDC sensors. And we've sorted that now, the PDC's back working as you guys see. Um, they were absolutely shocked because no E60 goes in there with no fault codes, but mine did. And that just says something, the way I care about it. So today what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna change these, which are the brake pad wear sensors. Now you'll see here I've got a male one, which is from Germany as well, as well as a Febby one, as you'll see right here. As you see, I don't use no crap, as you guys know. I only use original parts, as you see, made in Germany. And this one as well, in Germany. They're all from Germany. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and replace them. One's the rear, one's the front. I couldn't find two Febby ones, don't ask me why. But we're gonna go ahead and just replace them. I have them cut, I am replacing them. I wasn't happy when the dealer spotted that and told me about it. That's the whole reason I'm changing them. You know what, they're right. At the end of the day, the way I maintain this car, I shouldn't be skimping out on brake pad wear sensors. So I'm gonna go ahead and change them. So let's get the car up in the air and I'm gonna change the front one. Okay guys, as you're gonna see now, we're just gonna go ahead and we're off. I mean, you don't need no tool apart from your bolts. Make sure you keep your looking all not safe. Right, some of the bolts will be rusty, so just remember that. Let's just wipe them to the side. As you'll see right there, the will just come off because you know, guys, know. So you put that here, and now put you up here, so you can see. <clears throat> so, as you'll see right here, this is the box where the brake pad sensor goes, and you'll see right here, this is where our cable tied it. So, we're going to open this up right here, as you'll see. Open it up, take it out, and now what we're going to do just disconnect it so we're just gonna disconnect this just right here as you see there's the brake sensor removed right there and now we're gonna install the new one which you'll see right here and it just slots in like that and then the way this route is it will go through here as you'll see you'll close that up like that and make sure it is closed you don't know what getting in there then what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to route this round so you'll see here Then you're going to clip it into right here. You can see. You can see. We clip it. And you want to make sure it snaps in firmly. If it's an original German part like that one is, as you see. That's now in. So now what we can do is put the wheel back on, as you'll see. So now we're going to put the wheel back on and then go to the rear, which the rear is going to be on the driver's side. As you see, this wheel in the UK is on the passenger side. This will be the same side as your driver's side in the US. So just remember, you come here to change the center. So as you can see there, guys, that's the wheel now back on. So now what we're going to do is remove to go to the driver's side rear and do the sensor on that side. So let's go over to the driver's side rear now. Okay guys, so the rear wheel. Take out it all out and take out the bolt. Okay. Put it all there to get out. This 
see, one of the bumps one over the top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the wheel. Black part there. That's what happens when people don't tighten them down with a torque wrench. So now, as you see now, on the rear, this one's been tied up. And bear in mind, guys, these are all like it when I just changed when I changed all the brakes and I never got around to doing them because I had the old ones, but. They're not being exact ones, and so now we're gonna do them now. It makes sense too, so that one's out. So as you can see, we're gonna use the Febby one. For here, I'm gonna plug all that up. And as I said, guys, these will cause your brake wobble if they're not working properly, so be aware of that. You have to see someone's tied up around the wrong way. Make sure these covers are always on properly because otherwise you won't have big problems. They're not. Come around there, right here, and then you just want to clip it into the brake hole again. But you'll see, right here, you just want to push it in there. So we're going to try and push it in if I can. See there? Then what you want to take off the brake line, bleed line cap, and just wrap it around in there so it keeps it out of the way. Be sure it's not loose. And that's it, guys. All done, as you see there. It's all clipped in and rooted around properly. So now we have new brake pad wear sensors. There will be a bit of play in them, as you can see, but it's nothing serious. It's not going to come out. It's fully in and fully seated in. So just wrap it, remember to wrap it around here, which is the bleed brake screw, and pull it all in the lines where it's meant to go. Just so it's out of the way of water, and make sure this case is always covered, as I tell you, it's an electronic case. You don't want to end up frying any of your electronics. And that's it done, guys. Brake pad wear sensor's complete. And there you have it, guys. The wheel's now back on. The brake pad wear sensor's now complete, fully. And all thanks to this thing right here, which is my Makita, you know, impact gun, the big one and it removes the wheels as you saw like nobody's business very helpful and very useful for doing anything that requires these kind of bolts to come off i will say the word but you know we can't but there you have it guys that's the abs that's complete nothing really much but they need to be done it come up on my bmw no it's enough for no chance am i having that so Okay guys, so as you've just seen now, we've just replaced the brake pad wear sensors on the E60. Like I said, I only replaced them because the dealer gave me a form saying that they were um, cut and worn and that they needed new ones. So you know what? I wasn't going to pay their money to do it, obviously, because it's such an easy job. It took, as you saw, it took me literally five minutes to do. So I've just replaced the brake pad wear sensors on the car. They needed doing. Now the car has no faults from what BMW gave me. They just said it was brake pad wear sensors and the parking sensor. I've rectified all them faults now, so there's nothing that really was at fault anymore. Like I said, guys, the only other thing they brung up was that my exhaust light sitting on the proper bracket and it was too loud. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. But as I say, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, it's BMW Dr. Dean. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much and goodbye.